Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug, and this is Crank Tanks out now on itch for a price of $5. It is an artillery based, turn based video game, and if you've been playing games as long as I have, it's going to look like a game called Scorched Earth. And if you are old enough to recall Scorched Earth, in its heyday, it might be time for your colonoscopy. <laughs> Anyhow, crank tanks! Let's get in here into a game and into some basic survival business. So, you get 5,000 to start in your budget. You have infinite of the mini mortar. So, everything here has a different cost associated and there are a bunch of different options for your tank. You buy one, you get one, and you can get more in the stages by breaking the boxes. So let's get ourselves, I don't know, a bouncy bomb, and then a mini cluster bomb, and then we're kind of just at this point broke. We bought two things, and yeah, I don't have 81,000 or any of these, you know, bits of business. So we hit B to get done, and here we are in what is basically Scorched Earth. Or if you are a more modern gamer, perhaps Worms is that frame of reference for this game. So. With the crank, we move the turret of this tank. We have three bots there on that map. I can actually hold B here and scroll the map to find the bots. It is Easy Bot, it is Noob Bot, and it is uh, Dat Dummy Bot. So, that being said, uh, let's aim here. You're gonna hold the A button to change the power. I'm gonna actually go to the uh, mini cluster here. And we're gonna go with this and then let it fly and see how the cluster nah clusters didn't quite get it done yes the environment is destructible as it should be in a scorched earth style of game you missed with the bouncy didn't bounce for nothing so yes i definitely played my fair share of scorched earth back in the day and honestly i also played a bit of a game called gorillas and that was on QBasic. And the problem with Gorillas for me is that I had a 286 with a monochrome monitor. And I could not run that game without having a color monitor, which was an issue. Um, let's me use uh, the bouncy balls. So a little bit of this and see how things bounce. Nope, that was not, not the best. So it'll show you what your last uh, bit of power was. And so you can kind of judge how far things might fly based on that. You can move a little bit in either direction with your tank treads, but there's a countdown, much like worms. So it's kind of that same bit of business in you're putting in the guesswork and you missed, but now I'm in the hole. Actually, I took some damage there, but I'm in the hole, which makes me an easy target here for all these three AI players. But also, you can have a pass and play with human players uh, because that game, back in the day, was a great pass-and-play, sit-in-the-hot-seat type video game. So, but this is all very, very much a Scorched Earth type thing. So, kudos on that, because that was a great game back in the day. But I am all out of what I want now, which is better weapons. All I have now is the Mini Mortar, and that's gonna be, you know, just a little bit of damage and not enough. But, if you can get the crates, the crates, all right, I need a little bit more than that. The crates will give you additional weapons in the stages. And on the map here, there's one in the sky that's falling and one right down in that rubble. So that's next to me and that's a possibility. But yeah, that's easy bot. What are you doing, man? Launching a whole host. And that's on me, that's on me. Boom, 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 ah, ah, no, no, you missed, buddy. You missed me. So, sorry. Nice try, but not quite. You can have even more uh, AI opponents. You can adjust the overall difficulty. I got hit there. And, of course, you can play it against human opponents and all of that style of gameplay. But otherwise, if you know Scorched Earth or Worms, this is basically that, uh, on the play date for five bucks. And I have no complaints on that. I think it is a fantastic turn-based video game. I think you get the idea of what this is if you have any knowledge of video game history. If you don't, well now you do.
So in your custom game options, you can change the amount of humans and bots, and your game settings involve the length of the game. You can go one round, two, three, five, ten, twenty, endless. You can do crates and shopping, or only crates at the stages, shopping only and no crates, and uh, walls, solid, reflective, random, none. Difficulty, progressive, very easy, easy, normal, hard, very hard, aggressively unfair, and yeah, all right. Your player names, if you're playing with other human players. But this is Crank Tanks out now on itch for five bucks, and if you liked Scorched Earth, Worms, or games of that ilk, it's more of that, but now on a handheld little playdate form factor. I'm a tax lug. Keep on cranking. More videos right here. I'll see you next time, and I'm out.